I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. Yes, honey, the Kirby Critic is at the Barbie Junket, and I got some folks for y'all to meet. Stay tuned. <laughs> hi. Hi, Greta. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, hi. I'm so happy to be here with you. I'm such a fan of your work. Uh, thank you. And I champion you all the time. Oh, in case thank you didn't you. know, I do. Thank you. Um, <laughs> so, so having said that, I just want to look at my notes to ask you this question. I want to find out what your thought process was in directing this film and how to address the um, representation of Barbie or lack thereof throughout Barbie's history. Yeah, well, I mean, one thing about the Barbie is like Barbie was invented in 1959. It's, it's existed up until now. It's gone through all of these different iterations and evolutions and uh, I felt so I felt like I wanted to kind of represent where the brand has has gotten to which is a really wonderful place but I also didn't want to pretend that all of this other stuff doesn't exist as like as where it came from mm -hmm. so I didn't want to I mean I, I I was sort of like if we pretend that it's always been perfect I think that's the whole problem anyway like is that we have to kind of step into all of the thorny spiky things and the things that aren't perfect because it's possible that something like Barbie is you know it's both and it's both you know a, an icon and this sort of amazing thing where you know Barbie went to space before women had credit cards and all this <laughs> and which is incredible and it can also be a completely unrealistic standard to hold people to, and it, it, you know that's not that's not great. And it can it can both exist at the same time. And I think that that something that was really important to me is like to just stand in all of that as opposed to shutting one side of it out exactly. or saying like she's bad or she's good. It's like, maybe she's a lot of things. <laughs> and like most of us are. Like most women, of us are. Most of us are. Girl, I wanted to talk to you about that opening. Oh, Mama, yeah. Because that opening, oh my God. <laughs> oh, so yeah. I want to talk about where the idea of that came from with the little girls like crushing the old ideology of what a Barbie, not Barbie doll, but what a baby, baby doll. Do yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, I don't even totally know. But what I do know is with my cinematographer, Rodrigo Prieto, we, I was like, we're only doing this if we can do it with integrity and do it right. I want it to be like beautiful. I want it to be a build. I want it to be like kind of extraordinary to look at. And he was like, got it. <laughs> and so, so I, I was like, I don't I want anything to just be a joke. I, I wanted it to be, you know, worth putting up on a giant screen. So he, he really, it was all about the execution, about how we executed that. But, um, I don't, I mean, it's, that's a real question for my therapist. <laughs> <laughs> that is hysterical. I just, in closing it out, I just want to say that I appreciate you as a filmmaker, not as a woman filmmaker, oh. but as a filmmaker and as someone that has a very definitive voice in cinema. I appreciate you and I love your work, seriously, from the bottom yeah. of my heart. Thank you. Oh, that's going to make me... Don't cry. You got okay, some, I know, I, I know. I gotta get through it. I gotta get through it. All right. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thanks so much. You're welcome. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.